to Washington and how the White House is responding to those new developments in Ukraine. ABC's Mary Alice Parks joins us from the North Lawn. And Mary Alice, we're learning about some backdoor diplomacy to deter potential use of nuclear weapons. Yeah, Janae, good morning. The White House is, of course, watching all of these escalations and threats from Russia very closely. And yes, a U.S. official confirmed to ABC News that privately the White House has been sending messages to Moscow warning of the consequences of any use of nuclear weapons. And publicly, the president, too, has been calling out Russia for making nuclear threats and saying a nuclear war cannot be won and must never be fought. Now, it is not clear exactly how the U.S. would respond in that scenario. Officials here telling us that Right now, they have not seen any reason to adjust the United States' nuclear posture. And yesterday, I pushed the White House about those votes taking place in far eastern Ukraine. I asked what happens if after Russia does declare these regions now part of Russia. Could that put the U.S. in danger, given the U.S. has given billions of dollars in military support to Ukraine? Could Russia claim that American weapons are being fired into what they are now considering Russian territory in that scenario? And the White House Press Secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre, told me that as far as the U.S. and G7 leaders are concerned, those votes happening are illegitimate and that the U.S. will never recognize this. An alarming new phase in the war. All right, Mary Alice, thank Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.